धनु धन्ने पुष्पे भरा आमादेरे बोसुन धरा तहार माजे आचे दिशे पंदर जेवरे मोर सुनारे दाय पंदनीय जा जारे पंदर जेवरे ये पंदे चिलोरे जर रंग पा अमी हराये चिलोरे Bangladesh is fast losing its fabled beauty. Its rivers are in decay, its air is polluted, its groundwater is contaminated by arsenic and many toxic heavy metals. Its forests are disappearing, its biodiversity is declining, plastic and other waste are drowning and poisoning its land and bodies of water. Waterlogging has become widespread. Bangladesh's environment is facing a disaster. The government bears the main responsibility for protecting the country's environment. However, as citizens or expatriates of the country, don't we have some responsibility too? At least, are we not supposed to raise the call to protect Bangladesh's environment? Aren't there many things that we can do at the household, neighborhood, and local levels to protect the environment without waiting for the government, or at least to spur the government to take action? The main role in protecting Bangladesh's environment belongs to resident Bangladeshis. That does not mean that non-resident Bangladeshis cannot play any role. Expatriate Bangladeshis love their country and they're playing an important role in the development of Bangladesh in many ways, including by sending remittances. They cannot sit idle when Bangladesh's environment is facing a disaster. Ben was launched to mobilize the effort and resources of non-resident Bangladeshis for the protection of the Bangladesh environment. The initiative was taken by Dr. Nazrul Islam, a former teacher of economics at Dhaka University. He was involved in manifold social work while teaching. He came to the United States in 1988 to do his PhD at Harvard University. He went back to Bangladesh in 1995 and was horrified to see the deterioration of environment. He talked to his friends, many of whom were by the time in various high positions in the government and society. And he urged them to pay more attention to the issues of the environment. He was disappointed to see that many of them thought environmental protection not to be a priority. He came back to the United States, worried. Dr. Nazrul returned to Bangladesh again in 1997. This time, he contacted those in Bangladesh who were working for the protection of environment. One of his friends, Abu Nasir Khan, helped him in this regard. Concerned by the environmental degradation, a group of prominent citizens had formed a group called Poribeshro Khashapot. Porosh. Among them were A.M. Muhit, Jamil Reza Chaudhuri, A.S.M. Shah Jahan, and others. In addition to Porosh, Dr. Nazrul got in touch with several other environmental related research and advocacy organizations, such as the Center, Bangladesh Center for Advanced Studies, and the Coalition for Environmental NGOs. 
He realized that a more energetic citizen's effort would be necessary to protect Bangladesh's environment, and that non-resident Bangladeshis would have to join resident environmentalists in this regard. He further realized that expatriate Bangladeshis could not be effective working individually. There had to be a collective effort. Meanwhile, Dr. Nazrul took up a faculty position at Emory University and moved to Atlanta. The internet has arrived by that time, and so it was possible to contact people far and wide almost immediately through email. On July 10, 1998, Dr. Nazrul sent out an email message to his close friends with the proposal to set up a network. He also laid out the things that such a network could do to help protect Bangladesh's environment. All who received the email welcomed the proposal and started discussing how to implement the ideas that were put forward in it. They had to deal with many questions. What should be the name of the network? Who would be its members? What would be its priorities? How would its activities be financed? Based on the discussion, it was decided that the network would be called Bangladesh Environment Network or BEN. Thus started BEN's journey. Emory University allowed its listserv to host BEN's email network. From the very beginning, Ben was aware that to be successful in protecting the Bangladesh environment, non-resident Bangladeshis would have to work in collaboration with the resident environmentalists. Ben therefore put emphasis on uniting the pro-environment forces inside Bangladesh. With that goal in mind, it proposed a comprehensive conference on Bangladesh environment with the participation of all the pro-environment forces of the country. Ben developed a proposal for such a conference. Dr. Nazrul went to Bangladesh in the winter of 1998 with this proposal and contacted Porosh, Bangladesh Center for Advanced Studies, Coalition for Environmental NGOs, and other pro-environment organizations and individuals. All of them accepted the proposal with enthusiasm. With its conference proposal accepted, Ben had to gear up its own efforts. It was felt that a face-to-face -face meeting was necessary. The first meeting of Ben was held at Emory University in Atlanta in early summer of 1999. Apart from Ben members, the dean, the chairman, and several faculty members of the economics department of Emory University also joined the meeting. The conveners rejoiced that resident environmentalists had accepted the Ben proposal of holding a comprehensive conference and discussed tasks related to this conference. They also discussed organizational issues, among them the important issue of financing, which brought on a spirited debate. In the end, it was decided that Ben would be self-financed and depend upon contributions from its members and supporters only. Ben would not ask for funds from either the government or from any donor agency. This policy of financial self-sufficiency proved to be a far-sighted one. It helped Ben to be independent, be steadfast to its goal, and earn respect. The discussion of the meet led to the following organizational principles of Ben. Emphasis on resident and non-resident cooperation, financial self-reliance, 
non-hierarchical organizational structure, independence from partisan politics, consensus decision-making. The subsequent 20 years of experience have borne out the appropriateness of these principles. Ben has been able to avoid discord and dissension and financial controversy and to remain focused on its goal. The proposal to hold a comprehensive conference on the Bangladesh environment materialized in the form of the first international conference held on January 13th and 14th, 2000 in Dhaka. Ben Porosh, Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology and coalition of environmental NGOs served as the main organizers and more than 50 pro-environment organizations served as co- and associate organizers. Both the Prime Minister and the leader of the opposition joined the conference. A large number of experts and activists from both Bangladesh and abroad also attended. The conference proved to be a huge success. Based on the discussion, the conference adopted the Dhaka Declaration on the Bangladesh environment, which contained the main points of information, analysis and the recommendations regarding the major environmental problems of Bangladesh. One of the recommendations of the first international conference on Bangladesh environment was to launch an organization that could serve as a common platform for all pro-environment forces of the country. In follow-up, Bangladesh Poribesh Andalon BAPA or Bangladesh Environmental Movement was launched in July of 2000. Ben played a crucial role in the formation of BAPA. Dr. Nazrul coined its name and drafted its goal, tasks and organizational outline and also its constitution. Several Ben members were included in the Executive Committee and the National Committee of BAPA. Since then, Ben and BAPA have been working together for the protection of the Bangladesh environment. Apart from helping with technical expertise, Ben has also been providing significant financial help to BAPA. Ben's financial support has played an important role in BAPA remaining an independent civil society entity. It does not depend on either the government or any external donor. The BAPA Ben Cooperation has become the model for resident and non-resident cooperation. Together with other pro-environment organizations of the country, BAPA and Ben have waged campaigns on all major issues of the Bangladesh environment. These campaigns have taken many different forms, including rallies, human chains, processions, submission of memorandum, press conferences, and roundtable discussions. The campaigns of Papa Ben and other pro-environment organizations have led to many successes. These successes do not mean that pollution has stopped and Bangladesh has turned a corner on environmental degradation. However, they show that the environmental movement can make a difference and progress can be achieved with ongoing momentum. In order to ensure its campaigns have a strong scientific basis, BAPA and Ben have been attaching much importance to conducting research on all important environmental issues of Bangladesh. To this end, BAPA and Ben, together with other pro-environment organizations, have been holding annual conferences focusing on one, several, or all major environmental issues of the country. To emphasize the fact that both expertise and activism are necessary for solving environmental problems, Ben and BAPA have innovated the 12 format for their conferences, which include both expert sessions for presentation by subject matter experts and general sessions for 
presentation by activists and other non-experts. This dual nature has made the Baba Bim conferences more meaningful. Instead of being mere intellectual exercises, these conferences are part of the movement for solving environmental problems. Bapa and Ben made sure to publish volumes for each of these conferences containing their papers, resolutions, and other pertinent materials. These conference volumes now serve as the most comprehensive source of information, analysis, and recommendations concerning Bangladesh's environmental problems. With time, Ben has organized chapters based on particular cities, states, and countries. In the United States, the largest and most active is the Tri-State Chapter for New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. It was formed in 2007 with Hassan Tofik Chaudhuri as the coordinator. The Tri-State Ben organized the celebrations of the 10th anniversary of Ben. It has held regular meetings, often with visiting BAPA leaders as the speakers. Following the relocation of Hassan Tofik to New Zealand, Seth Fuzlur Rahman took on the responsibility of serving as the coordinator of Ben, New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. March we have gathered here and it will start in just probably half an hour and this march is being organized on the eve of the climate summit that the United Nations Secretary General has convened and the purpose of this march is to raise the voice and let the world leaders know that they must take urgent steps to stop climate change. There is no reason and no scope of any further delay and any further uh, uh, postponement of the steps that are necessary. So people from all over the world have converged here. This is supposed to be the largest gathering for climate change. There were marches before. Over time, Ben has expanded beyond the United States, where it originated. Several country-level chapters of Ben are active. Among these are Ben Australia, Ben Japan, and Ben Germany. Ben Australia was initiated in 2005, following a visit by Dr. Nazro, which included meetings in Sydney, Canberra, and Melbourne. Since its founding, Ben Australia has been organizing meetings, rallies, processions, seminars, and discussions on various issues of the Bangladesh environment. In addition, Ben Australia has been taking part in activities aimed at improving the environment in Australia. In particular, Ben Australia has been participating in annual Clean Australia campaign on a regular basis. Kamrul Khan is serving as the coordinator of Ben Australia, and Dr. Shopun Paul is serving as the coordinator of Ben Sydney, a part of Ben Australia. Ben Japan has been active since 2011. It has held an international conference on the environmental aspects of Bangladesh for several years with the participation of scholars from Japan, Bangladesh, Australia, and other countries. It has also brought up volumes containing the scholarly papers and resolutions of these conferences. Ben Japan also organized many events as part of Global Ben's campaign on various issues, in particular, climate change. Ben Germany has also been playing an active role. It organized several international conferences focusing on energy issues, and it participated in Global Ben's campaign on climate change and other issues. Ben has been undertaking many other activities. One of these is the publication of a weekly internet-based environmental newsletter, which presents many important news items concerning both the Bangladesh and global environment and the environmental movement. Both Ben and BAPA members find this newsletter useful and it serves as a regular connection among them. 
Ben oversees an environment-related internship program for members of the second-generation non-resident Bangladeshis. Under this program, Ben helps them to be placed in environment-related research or advocacy organizations. The internships help young students fulfill their academic requirements, inform them about the environmental movement, and motivate them to become leaders in the movement. Ben has provided fellowships to environmental activists in Bangladesh. The purpose was to help deserving activists who have been foregoing income in order to devote more time to the environment movement. Ben also helps resident scholars in their research on environmental issues. For example, it assisted in making possible the testing of air samples in modern US labs to determine the quantities of different pollutants. Ben experts collaborate with resident Bangladeshi scholars working in areas of common interest. Ben has undertaken several action projects. One of these was the Solid Waste Aerification and Disposal Project. This project involves separating the organic part of household waste and converting it into organic fertilizer by aerification using community labor. The project helps to create fertilizer, disposal of waste, and create employment all at the same time. This project was implemented on a pilot basis in two locations, in the Bhashan Tech Slam in Dhaka and the National University campus in Gajipur. In order to facilitate research and the formulation of policies, concerning the various environmental issues of Bangladesh. Ben has formed several panels focusing on particular issues. Dr. Salit Tanvir is serving as the overall organizer of these panels. As needed, these panels work in collaboration with the program committees that Papa has formed in Bangladesh on similar issues. Over time, due to the work of Bapa Ben and other pro-environment organizations, environmental awareness and its movement are growing. Originating from Dhaka, Bapa as an organization has spread its reach from Dinajpur to Cox's Bazar and from Silet to Khulna. It has branches and groups in most districts. Beginning with the Buriganga River, the river movement has spread across the country. A national river protection movement has been formed under the auspices of Papa. The media, both print and electronic, is now paying much more attention to environmental issues. The judiciary is also showing awareness and initiative. Through the Bapa Ben work and through the resident non resident collaboration, a nationwide robust environmental movement has developed in Bangladesh. Very few countries in the world at a similar income level as Bangladesh can claim to have such a movement. The environmental movement is an achievement that Bangladesh can be proud of. Despite these successes, the environment of Bangladesh continues to be under serious threat. The environment continues to deteriorate along many dimensions. First, in many areas, appropriate policies are yet to be adopted. Second, good policies, though adopted, are often not implemented. In fact, in some cases, well-intended policies are executed in such a misguided way that the problems worsen. Third, even though environmental awareness has increased, it is still proving difficult to mobilize Bangladeshis to active resistance to pollution and polluters. In some cases, active resistance has been forcefully crushed by authorities. <laughs> অথচ এর তোয়াক্কা না করেই মাল্লি ছড়ায় চলছে পাহাড় ও টিলাকাটা 
এসবের ছবি তোলায় এক সাংবাদিক ও পরিবেশ কর্মী সহ চারজনকে শনিবার জিম্মি করে রাখে বাগান কর্তৃপক্ষ দিনে দুপুরে এখানে ট্রাক্টর লাগিয়ে এখানে শ্রমিকরা মাটি কাটছে এই অবস্থাতে আমরা ছবি তুলতে যাই এবং তখন ওনারা বাধা দেন আমরা চারজন ছিলাম আসার পরে আমাদের গেটে আটকানো হয় এবং আমাদের আমার ক্যামেরার ছবি মুছে দিতে চায় এবং ক্যামেরাটা নেওয়ার চেষ্টা করে Globally, Ben is facing organizational challenges. Without visible progress in the protection of the environment in Bangladesh, it is becoming difficult to enthuse and motivate non-resident Bangladeshis to support the environmental movement. Another organizational challenge faced by Ben is making the second generation of expatriate Bangladeshis interested in the environmental movement in Bangladesh. Without the participation and eventual leadership of the next generation, it will be difficult for Ben to continue and to gain strength. As we celebrate the achievements of the 20 years of the work of Ben, we must pay necessary attention to the challenges that we face going forward. We are really standing at the brink of disaster, at the brink of collapse of, of our humanity. So, you know, we have only one planet to leave. And I'm so glad and delighted.